Hey guys, we are back with the screen team and we've got Sue with us. She's with the Popper Bluff Public Library where they have got Band Book Week, which is getting ready to begin September 24th through October 1st. And what kind of things can people expect from Band Book Week? Well, they can come into the library and we have a wonderful display and I will say that there are flames involved. Now, whether or not they are real or not, that's for you to decide. But there are flames. And then the other thing oh, that goodness. we see is we see a, a display of the of some books that are banned. And maybe many people don't know what a banned book is. But for whatever reason, a community, a library, a school, a government has decided that this book does not belong on our shelves. Right. Or it does not. We shouldn't let people read this for any reason. They used to say to make a book popular, ban it in Boston. Well... <laughs> Some of these books have been banned over over the centuries. It's yeah. not just today that this happens. So think about what a banned book is and whether or not it should be in the library or whether or not it should be on out on the public streets. But I don't think that's, personally, I don't think that's for you or I to decide. I think it's for the public to decide what they're reading. Okay. Um, and because of Banned Book Week, we are doing movies that had to deal with uh, banning of books. And we've taken care of a movie that was set in the future, Fahrenheit 451. We dealt with a movie that uh, was in the 20th century, The Book Thief in uh, 1930s Germany. Now we're going back to the past. And this is what we got for you. We have got monks, or the monks are priest. Uh, we've got Sean Connery. We have uh, got, uh, uh, what's his name, Christian, Christian Slater. Slater. And... Um, Murray Abraham. F. F. Murray Abraham. You're yeah, correct. You're right. correct. Um, uh, they are. <laughs> what are, are are they priests or are they rabbi? They're monks. They're monks. They're different different uh, um, uh, orders. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what the order is that uh, the but Sean Connery plays a Franciscan monk. Okay. Um, so what's going on with this? We've got Sean Connery and he is. I don't want to say like an investigator, but he is definitely like a Sherlock Holmes type of individual. What do you say? Yeah. Well, in fact, that's one of my first five minutes because I hadn't seen it in a few years when I watched this time. And I said, oh, so Christian Slater is Dr. Watson <laughs> to you know, Sherlock Holmes. And then on my mind went a little further and I said, no, it's Cato and Inspector Clouseau. Yeah. So, so, yes, there is that sort of Sherlock Holmes. And he is inductive. He does take that sort of Sherlock Holmes Role and if you've ever watched Sherlock Holmes, he says, "Well, there's no way that he could have fallen out the window because." And right, then and it goes on from there. And and this character is is, is the same way. Um, we've got a lot of monks who are dying or who are getting killed, uh, supposedly in this movie. And Sean Connery is there to try to uh, figure out who's doing it. Well, he's there. They've brought him in, but and so they've they've asked him these questions, and so Sean Connery begins his investigation, and the Christian Slater character is, does help and ask questions, and he's learning as he goes along with all of this. Um, the um, books, you know, again, it's back to the same theme: is if the if people read certain books, they might not behave in the way we want them to, right. and then my one of the most, you know probably seems like it, it may, it's droning but at the same time it, he makes the point or the director makes the point where they're eating dinner together which is supposed to be silent but while they're eating there's somebody preaching and and he's telling them how they should behave and what they should mm -hmm. do and where they should go and and what and said any one of the things he says laughter is a sin and so you're not supposed to laugh so 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 what books do you think one of the books that gets banned well it's a, co a book of comedy yeah and it's but it's a book of greek comedy and it, and so this brings it forward and it may be the most only existent book of greek comedy that's there and so there it goes there you go from there see you later <laughs> <laughs> um i know on the surface people might be hearing this review and uh they might be thinking ah oh, that sounds kind of boring or uninteresting to me uh, this movie to me <clears throat> it's been in my life for quite a long time. My dad loved this movie. I did and too. when I was a kid, he used to watch it all the time. And I'm like, oh, this movie is so boring, blah, 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 blah. But as I grew up and started to understand what the movie was about, I really, really enjoy this. I've, I've seen it many, many times. If you are into movies that have to deal with whodunit, right. um, mystery, that's what this movie is. It's more than just Sean Connery as a 
Franciscan monk. You know, that it is really true. is. Well, and I have to tell you one more thing. As as a woman, <clears> I watch <throat> it, and my husband knows this, so I'm not letting out any secrets or anything. Mm-hmm. Sean Connery is in it, ladies. And so if you're of my age and you like Sean Connery, then, then you're going to like this film. Because I just like Sean Connery. I like that Scottish accent. Scottish Certainly. Yeah. Certainly sure. Yeah. And so, and better watch it, Sabrina. <laughs> so anyway, there, there it goes. But at the same time, there's a, there's a little bit of love interest in this story, too. And I will tell you that... Uh, the Christian Slater character learns a lot about himself and learns a lot about yeah. what love is and also what duty is. And I think that that's one of the things that I appreciated the film from a more emotional kind of thing is what, yeah. what, it, what it learns. But I also will tell you that if any of you out there who read books and you take your finger and you turn the page, <laughs> I think this film will stop that habit real quick. And I'm gonna, it's the only thing I'm going to tell you at this point. That's a very good point. Very so, good point. you got to watch the movie to get that reference. But yes, yes, very good. Um, is this a movie you can find at the library? It is at the Popper Bluff Municipal Library, ready for you to check out. It's not a film that's easy to get these days. We had to kind of do a little bit of hunting and mm-hmm. pecking and... We paid a little bit of money for this one. Wow. Uh, yeah, I don't know why it's uh, rare. It's not rare in the sense of being worth a lot of money. It just was more difficult to find. It may be because it is an older film and it hasn't had a new release in a while. Okay. Um, it's well worth it. The acting is good. I really liked the way that they lead you through. You were talking about growing to like it. Mm -hmm. I really think the characters lead you through not only process, but it also leads you through where they're going with this. And you all remember me saying that this theme was a lot of flames. Well, there's, I promise you there are flames here as well. Okay. Uh, The movie's called In the Name of the Rose, starring Sean Connery and Christian Slater. Um, We obviously have Band Book Week uh, going on September 24th through October 1st at the library. What other events do you have going on in October? We have other events. We have Niles Raddick is coming October the 24th. Niles had been scheduled originally in March, but became ill, and as a result wasn't able to come in and talk about his book. Mm -hmm. It's a Pulitzer Prize uh, nominee. And Niles is going to come in and not only talk about his book, Drifting Too Far from the Shore, but he's also going to be able to talk a little about writing process. Niles has a degree in English. I happen to know him when I worked in Tennessee, and he's a nice fellow, and he's got a great sense of humor. So <laughs> I, ex- I have high expectations for Niles, and, I, and I, he'll meet him, I promise you. We also have starting up next week is a fall reading program for our children. Okay. And there are prizes, things like Kindles and uh, what are those uh, new sort of skateboard kinds of things that the kids are using? I have no, I haven't been a kid in like 30 years, so I don't know, man. (laughs) Well. (laughs) I don't know, but. I know that there are prizes and and they're part of what, what, what we're offering to the children. And then there's there are the usual reading incentives that they can do, it. and that'll go on through about the end. Of, oh, Beg's uh, Family Farm is one of the prizes as well. So, and you guys, you guys show movies too. Uh, you guys will show every now and then uh, kids movies uh, uh, and adult movies too. I saw you guys had La La Land. You know? Well, as a matter of fact, this year our theme is musicals. Okay. So we're doing musicals for the next nine months, and so every third. St- Sunday afternoon from 2 to 4 we'll be showing musicals Mm -hmm. and we've got new like La La Land as well as some of the older films in fact La La Land is one of the first musicals that's been made in a while our true musical that's been made in a while and then on Thursday we have Theater Thursday which is a family friendly film it's from 4.30 to around 6 o'clock always at every movie there's popcorn awesome and smell the popcorn when you come in and so we invite you to come and enjoy the films, and then the in the as as it's called the ginormous screen, and it is a ginormous screen. It's about thirty by twelve, mm-hmm. and so that's a pretty good size screen. Very much and, so, and um, and good full surround sound as well. So if you're into movies, Popper Bluff Public Library can definitely fill your needs. So stop on by, Sue. Thank you for being on the show. We appreciate you. Oh, I love being here. Thank you so much for letting me come and 
enjoy my passion. And Sue will be back with us on Veterans Day for a special themed uh, show uh, as well for that. So be on the lookout for Sue on uh, on Veterans Day, November 11th. Uh, for Sue and Chris, we are the screen team right here on KWOC.